just as we saw with interfaces. Classes can form a hierarchy. So for example, imagine the sled dog class, which captures the dog that pulls sleds. Uh, well, a sled dog it has a job, so we might say it extends some class called working dog. And as a result, sled dog gets all the methods and in fact all the members of the working dog class for free. Working dogs, well, a working dog is a dog, so we might say it extends the dog class. And then, of course, then working dog gets all the dog uh, members. And sled dog does too, transitively, because you know, it travels down the hierarchy all the way to the bottom. Now, subtle little point. Any class where you do not say extends something else will implicitly extend the object class. Okay, so for example, let's look at the vengeful s list class, which does not do that. Vengeful s list extends s list. Okay, great, we already know that. S list, as it happens, because we didn't say extends something else, it extends object. And we can explicitly type this out. This has no effect on the code. So just be aware that if you don't say extends object, it's actually secretly there. So I've noted that with a dotted line. What good is the object class? Well, it basically provides a set of things that you can uh, be sure that any object can do. For example, comparison. So every object, in fact, every class, uh, it has a method that tells you whether or not it equals something else. And because this is note an, a concrete class, it is not an interface, it's a concrete class, that means there is a default implementation that does something. Uh, the other one we'll use is hash code, um, and actually the other other one we'll use is to string. Those three are really important, the others not so much. Okay? And we'll talk about what this one means later. This one hopefully is pretty self-explanatory, and we'll be doing some of these fairly soon. Uh, now one tiny little note, interfaces do not extend the object class. If you're curious about how all this works, you can check it out here, but it's not important for our class. The last thing to say about extends before we move on to a slightly trickier topic here uh, is that it should be only used for is a relationships. So that is, something is a hypernym of something else. So s list is a hypernym of vengeful s list. That's great. However, and I know I already said this in a previous video, but I just want to really drive it home, never ever use it for has a relationships, which by the way is known as a meronym in grammar. So if we have a class called bathroom, you should never say shower extends bathroom. That is a horrible abomination and we'll all be very sad.